Well, good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us online uh, for a little bit of a worship offering this morning. Uh, I know we're missing being in our building, but again, for the health and safety of our community, uh, we'll be doing it this way for this Sunday. I invite you to continue praying for those who are ill in our church. Uh, pray for healing and pray for uh, the doctors and nurses that might be taking care of them uh, at this hour. This morning, I wanted to look at the topic of hope. Uh, the world could use a lot of hope uh, in this era, in this time, and today. So we're going to be looking at hope this morning, and I'm going to be using a resource from a website called first15.com. So thank you uh, for allowing us to use this resource this morning. I want to open up with these words from scripture. So if you have your Bible, we'll be going throughout some different scriptures this morning. So I invite you to take it out and follow along if you're able to do so. And our first scripture passage today is in Romans chapter 15, and we'll be looking at verse 13. It says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. Amen. That's the word of the Lord this morning. Well, I invite you to join me in song. Uh, I'm going to be doing a few songs. One of them, I think, is going to be a little bit more familiar than the other, although we've, we sing both of them quite often at our church. So wherever you are this morning, I invite you to enter into this time of worship uh, this morning. So here we go. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. On Christ the
this morning as we come into your presence and we are searching for this hope that only you can provide i pray that we would be very attentive to you and your presence this morning help us to learn from the word in which you have uh, entrusted to us lord and may we truly and honestly enter into this time of worship fully expecting the blessing of hope that you can provide us so lord Bless our time together virtually this morning, and may we unite as your people in hope. And we pray this in and through your name. Amen. So the world is a fearful place, an unsatisfying place without the hope of eternal life with Jesus. And apart from the expectation that comes from the hope of heaven, our world uh, is without cause for peace, without cause for celebration, without cause for joy. There is life in hope. There is joy in hope. There is purpose in hope. 
Hope is to be at the foundation of all of our decisions, all of our emotions, and all of our pursuits. Hope fills us with the joy in the midst of trial and perseverance in the midst of failure. Hope guides us to a full and abundant life in Jesus. Romans chapter 8 verses 24 and 25 says this, For in this hope we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what is seen? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. You see, we have this promise of eternal life and perfect unveiled relationship with our creator and sustainer. The King of kings and Lord of lords waits patiently for the final redemption and restoration of all things. He longs for the day when all pain, all tears, all disappointment, all separation, and all sin would end for good. And he longs to fill us with this same hope and expectation that he has within himself. Romans chapter 15 and verse 13, which I read at the beginning of our time together, says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Our Heavenly Father longs to make us a people of hope. He longs for his followers to live a lifestyle that declares to the world, this life is not all that there is. He longs to fill us with a heavenly perspective that we might throw off pursuits of worldly pleasure and live for eternity with him. Now, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 and 21, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The hope of eternal life with our Father is to be the guiding light set ever before us. Where have you set your hope? Where do the treasures of your heart lie? Placing our hope in heaven secures the treasures of our hearts with our Heavenly Father for all of eternity. In contrast, when we treasure the things of the world, that which we accumulate, will pass away as quickly as it came. I invite you into this time of guided prayer to allow the Lord to fill you with a fresh hope for the age that is to come. Allow your perspectives to shift in light of the glory of an eternity spent in total communion with Creator. May the hope of heaven guide you to a lifestyle of storing up your treasures and therefore your heart with your Heavenly Father. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a prayer prompt. I'll allow you a few uh, seconds, probably about half a minute, to consider this prayer, spend time in prayer. I'll give you uh, a few scripture passages as well, so you can uh, kind of guide your thoughts. And then at the end of it, I will guide us in our final prayer. So first, I invite you to meditate on the importance of hope. Allow scripture to shift your perspectives and pursuits to living for heaven. Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for evil. To give you a hope and a future. 
Proverbs chapter 10, verse 28. The hope of the righteous brings joy, but the expectation of the wicked will perish. Where have you placed your hope in the things of the world? What have you been looking to in order to satisfy your longings that is fleeting and temporary? I read again from Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 and 21. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Ask the Lord to help you place your hope in heaven alone. Choose to live your life for your heavenly Father instead of seeking worldly success and satisfaction. Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you ways in which you can rid yourself of the world and receive this hope of heaven. John chapter 10 and verse 10. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it abundantly. And will you join me in prayer? Father God, thank you for the hope that we have in Jesus Christ. And I praise you this morning that it is only through him where we can access this hope, this hope of eternal life, this hope of a life spent in worshiping and praising our creator. And Lord, as we consider this morning where we put our hope, I pray that you reveal to us the places in which we put our hope uh, that is fruitless, that is temporary and fleeting, Lord. And I pray that as you reveal these things, that you would give us the courage and the strength to reverse our course, to lay our hope down in those things, and to instead place our hope in you, place our hope in a life spent with you. Lord, I pray that each of us now would make the decision to put our hopes securely with you in the kingdom of heaven, that we might turn away from hoping in other things and live out this life that you have called us into, live out this life that tells people that there is a way that's better than the way that we're doing it now, that there's a hope that's greater than any hope that we might put into earthly possessions. Lord, help us to be lights in the world. Help us to be the salt of the earth. 
as we live out this calling to be your people in the community of Thunder Bay and wherever uh, we find ourselves, Lord. So God, I pray that you would seal this time of blessing this morning, that you would continue to reveal yourself to us and that we might be ever so attentive to your call, to your voice in our lives. Lord, I pray for those who are ill. Uh, I pray that you would just be with them now, that your healing touch would go with them, that they would know that they are loved, that they are being cared for by doctors and nurses and by Creator God, and that you would bring about a full healing if it is in your will. So Lord, we lay this time down before you this morning. We thank you for the gift of technology to be able to meet together in this way. And Lord, we pray that we will be able to meet face to face once again in the near future. And we pray all of this in and through your name. Amen. I leave you with the words from Romans chapter 5 verses 2 to 5 this morning. And I pray that it will be your anthem of hope. Through him, we have also obtained access by faith into, the, into this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. More than that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. God bless you this morning.